Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be seeing how to create and set up an AWS user so it can work together with the Diffgram connections feature. So if you're having trouble setting up a connection or you're having some kind of permissions error when testing out the connection, this is a good video you, sh you should watch because we're going to be creating a user and setting up the appropriate permissions for the the user to work with the Diffgram connections feature. So the first step we have to do is create a user. So I'm here on the identity and access management section of AWS on the users tab. So I'm just gonna hit the add user button and here we just have to put the username. So I'm gonna name this user Diffgram testing and on the access type, I'm going to hit the programmatic access. Uh, we don't need the console access. So, uh, and the programmatic access is because the program will ask for your access key ID and secret access key when you're creating the connection. So next, I'm going to go to permissions. And for now, I'm just going to skip this step and go right into tags and uh, next to the review section and hit the create user. So on this section, it's really important that you copy both the access key and the secret access key into a safe location because it's going to be something that Devgram will ask when you set up the connection. You can also download these credentials as a CSV and then you can hit the close button. So now we have the, the Devgram testing user. We just have to create a policy. So we're going to go to the policy section. And by the way, a policy is a group of permissions inside AWS that you can attach to a user. So we're going to create a policy to give just the right permissions for the connection to work with this user. So we're going to hit the create policy button. Then we're going to go to the service section and we're going to choose the S3 service. So we're going to search here S3, select the service. And here it's really important that you check exactly the same box as I do because these are the specific permissions we need to grant uh, this, this policy. So on the list section, we have to select both uh, the three of the permissions. So it's the head bucket, uh, list all my buckets and list bucket. Then on the read section, we just have to select the get object permission. And on the right, section we just have to select the put object so next we have to go to the resources section and here we can specify if these permissions will apply to all the buckets or to specific buckets for this scenario i'm just gonna uh, make it apply to all my buckets because i want the access on all of my aws free buckets but you can select select here specific buckets if you don't want this to happen so uh, with this, everything is set up. So I'm just going to hit review policy. Uh, I'm going to add the name. So I will name this Diffgram permissions. And in the description, I'm just going to write Diffgram permissions too. And then hit the create policy. OK, so now we have the policy created. And the last step we need to do is just attach this new policy to the user we created. So we're going to go back to the user section and then select the Diffgram testing user. And here on the permissions tab, we can add new permissions. So here we're going to add a policy. So we're going to hit this blue button that says add permissions. And then we're going to select the option that says attach existing policies directly. So here I will be able to search from all the policies we have. So we're going to just search the policy we just created, which is called Devgram permissions. We're going to select this policy and next go to the review section and add the permissions. And that's it with, with this policy attached, you will be able to access all the functionality that Devgram offers with the connection feature and AWS. Uh, thanks a lot for your time and I hope you really enjoyed this video.